Welcome back to the video. Welcome back to another beautiful day out here in Japan. Today is an exciting day. It's an amazing day and we've just got a package. I wonder what it could be. So many of you know that I'm currently in love with crips. I've got three tanks with different species of crips. Um, just a quick update on these fish. They are doing slightly better with the medications. Today I've got to do another dosage of the medication so I'll be doing that in just a while I gotta do a water change you can see I'm doing the water bottle method of cooling the tank down because it's so hot here and I'm also using this fan pointed down towards the tank um, not really recommended to do that but that's all I have right now and we've got a package right here from a friend down in Tokyo they have a really nice fish store called aqua field I did a video on their place last year and I uploaded it this year two videos actually I'll put the links in the description but they've got some unique fish some rare fish as well and a really cool store and then mr. Ryusei he messaged me on Instagram and said I've got some cryptocorins I know you like cribs and I was like yeah I love cribs um, because he's been watching the videos, he's seen all these Crypt tanks and he sent me something that many of you guys asked me to get but I didn't know where to get them. I think many of you guys probably already know what this is. It's Cryptocorin Pink Flamingo. So today I'm gonna be setting this tank up and we're gonna be putting this Crypt in this tank. We've got to see the condition of this because um, I haven't opened the box yet so let's go ahead open it up and start setting this tank up. Hold on, before I do that though, I've got to do a quick update on this tank right here, the 60p planted tank, aquascape, whatever you call it. You can see the water level is a little bit low and that's because I've been trying to cool this tank down as best I can. I've stopped using the lid and the evaporation has been quite fast on this tank, but the plants seem to be doing a little bit better. The fish are doing great. The shrimp, some of you are asking if there are any shrimp in here. They're all doing great in here. Amano shrimp, they're probably the best algae eating shrimp out there. I do want to get different types of shrimp in the future, like maybe crystal reds or um, crystal blacks. I'm not sure, we'll see. But what I want to do now is I want to take out some of the fallen leaves because you can see some of the pinatifida are still melting a little bit uh, because of the heat wave. That, I don't even know if it's a heat wave. It's just summer and it's really hot in Japan. So I'm gonna take some of that out and fill it back up with water. All right, so there it is. Uh, it's looking pretty nice. I'm really happy with Escape. I've said it many times. Even though it's not perfect, I still gotta take this aside. I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, you can see there's still Blackbeard algae on the driftwood, but it doesn't really bother me that much because you can't really see it. Algae, it's not gonna harm the fish in any way. It's just a little bit of an eyesore and everyone's gonna have to deal with algae at some point of time, so... Um, this this is it really happy with it next week is probably gonna be maintenance week where I scrub the glass clean because you can see there is some algae buildup but I'm really happy with this week so far because I lowered the lighting level and I'm seeing less algae on the glass it's been a week since the last maintenance you can see the lily pipes are still really clean usually it takes about a week for it to start getting some algae on it but this week it's looking really nice and yeah, I think before it was, it might have been too much light. The rice fish, they're still doing okay in here. You can see two of them right here, and then the others like to hide around. Um, but when I feed them, they all come out. But I think I want to move these out to the mini pond outside because there's just more space. And yeah, I don't know, this, this might have to be just plants and no fish in the future. Oh, there's a third one. You can see right there, three of them, just chasing each other around. All right, so let's start setting this tank up. I've got to clean it a little bit and then stick on the background.
All right, and there it is. The tank is now ready for some substrate. I'm really excited for this. You can see there's a little bit of a gap um, right at the back there, but that's really okay. Every single tank actually has that gap. The film is just not long enough, but once we put soil in, you won't even be able to tell that it's there. So the first layer, as usual, you can see right over here, is the pumice, the small white color pumice stone, which I've prepared a bunch of right here. So I'm gonna add a layer of this on the very bottom. So we've got the pumice in. Next up, we need soil, and I've just got some leftover soil right here. I know it's really hard to see because of all the glare, sorry about that. Um, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this all nice and wet, moist, damp with, I don't know, just, just get it, just get water up to the surface of the soil and then we can start planting. And I just realized I completely forgot to show you guys the plants in the beginning of the video and I still haven't even opened it. So I'm excited, looking forward to that. We'll get this all nice and soaked and then we'll open the plants. We'll start planting. Here it is. Really excited to open this up. Sorry, I don't have a tripod right now, so that's the best angle I can get, but let's open this up and see. All right, so how do you even open this? Oh, you're supposed to tear this. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, wow, look how nicely packed this is. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. That is beautiful. We've got three nice pieces of cryptocorn pink flamingo. Look at that leaf right there. Really excited to see how these develop. Look at the root structures on this. So, so yeah. It's my first time actually ever seeing pink flamingo. I don't think I've ever seen it before. So I'm really happy to be able to have it in my tank. Orange one's gonna go in the middle. Now the time has come to fill the tank up. I'm gonna do this slowly because I don't want the plants to get disturbed too much, but let's do this. So the tank is filled up with water. You can see the crypt flamingos in there. And I just realized, I was reading this, and it says crypt Flamingo is a very rare and attractive plant. It sure is attractive, but I didn't know that it's a really rare plant. Let me know in the comments down below how 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 sought after is this plant. I never knew that it was really rare, so I've got to say I'm really lucky. Thank you so much, Mr. Ryusei, for this cryptocorin flamingo. I've never seen this plant in real life before, and now to have it in one of my tanks, it's just amazing i really hope it does well in here i hope i don't kill it like that's that's the worst thing that could happen but let's see how this develops maybe what we can do next is put some cryptocorin parva in the front make like a foreground carpet i think that'll be really cool to have some pink crypts right here and then like a low foreground carpet of crypt parva i think that would be really cool so that's why i left a little bit of a gap there and then maybe we can have we can slowly plant this tank up another plant i really want to get but i can't find is cryptocorin huteroy the huteroy crypt i've seen lrb aquatics he's got a ton of those and they look amazing those cryptocorin huteroys they grow tall they're nice and green they're lush they're beautiful if you're ever in tokyo japan asakusa that area or even in Tokyo in general. You definitely have to go down to Aqua Field because they've got some rare fish, rare plants like this. They've got unique fish. I saw a whole bunch of puffer fish there in the past. They've got lung fish. They've got everything you want, even little tetras. And it's an amazing store. I really hope to go down there again and show you guys more on that store. The owner and the staff there, they also know English really well. So that's a Great thing if you're a tourist. Nihonjin no minasan, Tokyo ni iketara, Aqua Field or Asakusa ni itte kudasai. Mo honto ni subarashi o mise nan desu kara, kondo ikeru toki attara, mi ni itte kudasai. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just really, really thankful and grateful for this. And I know I have my towel on. It's quite hot in here and that's why you can see the fan is spinning there. Just made an unexpected visit here at Aqua Review because they just got a huge shipment of driftwood. Let's go and ch take a look at some of these 
but you can see it's like a mountain here right now it used to be half empty and now it's all full some really nice looking driftwood here and I just like to look at these and see if there's any I can use for future scape um, just picking out hardscape is one of my favorite things to do and then inside they got a shipment of plants as well so let's check those out you can see they got in some bulbitis this one is really nice size this is I think a tropica pot and this is huge and there's more down below right by my crocs you can see in there this one came from down here so we'll put that back but yeah there's more here and crinum this should I get some crinum this is really cool I think some crinum in the fish room would be a nice addition there's more bulbitis in here and then a whole bunch of anubias cryptocorn parva they've got it right here thinking hard should I get it now or should I wait a little more before I go I want to show you this right here these are some mini terrariums that I set up for the store this one here isn't doing too well you can see the moss is a little bit brown but the others are doing really well I really like them all this one here is the newest setup you can see it's a very simple Iwagumi style and we did a video on this on the aqua review channel it's in Japanese but if you want to check it out go ahead I'll put the link in the description over here this is a moss layout so it's just using terrestrial moss and this is one of my favorites you can see it's so green so lush I like this a lot and then here we've got an aquatic plant setup I'm not sure how to pronounce this but it's UG Atricularia graminifolia or something like that then you've got Christmas moss on the driftwood some Cryptocorin lucens um, in the midground. Then in the back, you've got Alternanthera reineki as well as Starogyne repens. Be sure to let me know what other cryptocorins you want me to get. I definitely want to get some Cryptocorin parva, as I was saying earlier. Some Huteroy in the back section would be really nice. And let me know what else there is. I'll try to find it if I can. I'm not going to be able to get everything so quickly, or I might not even be able to find some of them. Uh, but yeah, just let me know what ideas you have. Give me some ideas too. That would be really nice. And yeah, thank you always for your support. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like squad, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Go check out Aquafield Asakusa. I'll put the links in the description down below. I'll see you guys next time.